Good morning to all of you. Hi guys, today I am discussing with you the very basic topic that is difference between chordates and non-chordates. It can be very uh, fundamental topic, but it it may be very complex if you have no basic understanding, and it will quite helpful you for various competitive exams and. UG and PG classes of the life sciences, especially in the geology. So I will discuss my discussion about chordates and non-chordates. If I discuss about the first point, they have the skeletal rod, rod-like structure, and it is called a notochord. While in the non-chordates, it is lacking. Not solid structure occur in any stage of their life, and the notochord in the uh, highest stages or in the adults changes into the vertebral column. That is called spine, composed of various type of vertebra. Second topic is uh, single dorsal hollow tubular fluid filled nerve cord that is non gangliated. While in the case of the non chordate. Here it may be dull, solid, gangliated. So it is a part of the nervous system. So if I discuss about it, it is the structure that is consigned in the central canal of the vertebra. So it in the advanced stage from the spinal cord. So it has fluid filled. that is called cerebrospinal fluid that is derived from the brain in the development stages and if i discuss about the nervous system of the cockroach and various other non chordates you will see they are rather ganglions and the connected neuron are connecting them so the nerve cord it is in pair you can see while if i discuss about the chordates here the single dorsal hollow nerve cord and it is embedded in the vertebral column here the various type of nerves arise they are called spinal nerves control the various reflex action and the autonomous response of the body next difference is the pharynx have gill slits so pharyngeal gill slits are formed no gill slits the gill slits are the basic structure from the development stages later on they change in the respiratory structure according to the habit of the animal if it is terrestrial it will uh, do the aerial respiration so gill slits will change into the lungs if it is the aquatic it will change into the gills then if it amphibious type it will change into the vaco pharyngeal cavity as in the frog and the reptiles next is the pair appendages there always occur the pair appendages in the chordates the interior side appendages are called the fore limbs that in the human such as the arms and the hind limb are called the legs such as legs in the human and the other animals so fore limb and hind limb they are in pair but in the case of the non chordate there may be more than two type of pairs two pairs are common so if we if i see about the centipede millipede there are many type of appendages so many number they are in paired they called <coughs> parapodia next is the living endoskeleton the endoskeleton that is the bones they are living having the herbaceous canal in the bone consisting of the stem cells they are differentiating into the various type of the blood type but in case of the non chordate the endoskeleton is a non living i hope this difference is is clear to you next difference is the tail so in case of the chordate the tail occur in all stages of life or it may be absent in some stages as in the frog no tail but in larva tadpole have the tail but in non chordate is no tail so the tail as in the fishes birds reptiles it has uh, advantages of the directional character as it increases the speed of the animal 
Next is the complete digestive tract. It will always occur in the caudate. Complete mean from the mouth to anus. Ingestion of food and digestion completed by from the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Then the fecal matter is drained out by the anus. While in the case of the non kid it will be complete or incomplete. Such you have seen in the hydra, incomplete. In the cockroach it is complete type. Close circulatory system. Always the blood flow in the caudate in the vessels. Not flow in the siloam. In the non caudate it may be close open or lacking. Lacking such as hydra cylindrates. No blood is there. A scare is no heart is there. But in the cockroach there is heart but there is the open circulatory system. Always there is ventral heart as the nervous system is in the dorsal side of the caudate and the visceral organ will no doubt will be in the ventral side. While in the case of notochord, uh, sorry non caudates the nervous system is in the dorsal side and the visceral organ will be in the ventral side. So the heart sorry in the uh, the nervous system in the ventral side and the visceral organ will be in the dorsal side. So the heart in them is in the dorsal side. Blood flow backward in the dorsal vessel and forward in the ventral vessel. What is opposite in the non caudate? Forward flow is done by the dorsal vessel, backward flow is done by the ventral vessel. Hemoglobin is the main respiratory pigment. It occurs in the RBCs. It is the oxygen carrying pigment. So it helps in the oxygenation and deoxygenation of the blood. While in the case of non caudates there is no hemoglobin, it may be hemocyanin and is dissolved in the plasma, as no RVCs are found in the non caudates I hope this is also clear to you. Next is the hepatic portal system. It is well defined in the case of the caudates but lacking in the non caudates what is the hepatic portal system? You very well know the food is digested in the gut, absorbed in the small intestine and the liver stored it the here. So the if I uh, assume that the whole the blood will circulate through the heart, so there may take some time to reach the food in the lower areas. So here is a helpful consideration or adaptation in the caudates to compensate the time lag of circulation by the heart so the absorbed food directly enter into the lower areas such as the from the uh, liver to our kidneys adrenal gland to our thighs by the hepatal portal system but there is no type of such system in the non caudates body is always segmented segmentation occur in the caudates very well you know in our body there is a totally segmentation interior side is head then there is neck then is the thorax abdomen thighs and lower limbs also our vertebrates are segmented vertebral column is also segmented while in the case of non coded it may be segmented or non segmented and you you can see segmented all the analytes that is metamerism occur non segmentation occur in the scaries cylindrates mollusca so here the non segmentation occur what in case of caudate always the segmentation would be there next is the cleavage the cleavage is indeterminate type so it is mostly determinate type in the caudates what is the indeterminate cleavage that is from the very beginning when the zygote divide so in the early stages the fate is not determined in the cell so if we uh, pinch of the cell, so segregate the cell from the two cell or four cell stage, they can be differentiated into the different embryo. What in the non caudate the fate is surely determined from very early stages. So segregated single cell cannot form the whole non caudate animal. And the last is all the caudates use a phosphocreatinine in the energy source for the energy source for the muscle contraction by in the non coded there is the phospho arginine for the energy source i hope it is helpful to you in the last there is some type of diagrammatic presentation for the development of the caudate structures firstly here there is a formation of notochord and 
nerve cord so in the gastrulation phase the ectoderm has a ridge that is destined to form the nerve cord so it is called neural plate later on development it invaginate and it form neural cast later on it is folded it is called neural fold then it is pinched off and it is hollow cylindrical structure that is called nerve cord so this is the nerve cord completely lined by the ectoderm having a cavity that is called neuroseal and below the nerve cord there is the dorsal cylindrical notochord i hope it is clear to you next is the differentiation of the nerve cord into the various type of nervous systems so if i talk about the development of brain the anterior part of the nerve cord form the brain and the posterior part form the spinal cord so the brain the anterior part then differentiated into three type of lobes the anterior lobe from the fore brain then the middle from the mid brain and the third from the hind brain fore brain is called the prosencephalon mid brain is called the mesencephalon hind brain called the rhombocephalon and the hind area of the nerve cord from the spinal cord that is called myelon having the central canal having the cerebrospinal fluid and that lie below the nerve cord is a hollow dorsal notochord i hope it is clear to you in the last there is very basic and contrasting feature for the differentiation of the non chordate and chordates if i discuss over the gastrula in the early gastrula there is a lip like structure formed that is a blastopore later on it is invaginated the blastopore it if it changes into anus then it will be deuterostomus if it will change into the mouth it will be protostomus so the deuterostomus are the chordates and the protostomus are the non chordates so this embryological difference can help you helpful to you differentiate between the chordates and non chordates i hope my this discussion would be helpful for you to understanding the contrasting feature between the chordates and non chordates if you have any query related to my discussion you can comment in comment box if you like my video subscribe my channel and share this among the science loving students thank you very much and have a wonderful day